Hello Sagittarius, how are you? This is a new love reading. Glad you stopped by. Welcome to new visitors and thank you to subscribers. I want to thank you very much. But we're going to look and see what's happening in a new love in your life. So let's jump in here, cut this deck and see what is going on for Sagittarius in love. All right, Sagittarius at the bottom of the deck, you have a strategy. You are thinking very clearly about your love life. You know exactly what you want. You will not settle for less. I love the, the Aquarius King. Very, very smart, bright, calm, loving. Very Dr. Doolittle with all of those birds around. So in the recent past, your feeling has been that you're holding out for what you want. It really is that simple. You feel good about yourself. Some of you may be even doing yoga or meditating. But whatever you're doing, Sagittarius, that is a beautiful energy. Leo energy. You feel very good about where you're at in your life. And you are not going to settle for anything that's not going to be worthy of you. Currently in your energy, you have the Four of Wands. Look at that. I love it. The 1111 card, Twin Flame. But this is actually a marriage card. This is the sign of the party celebrating life, the stability of a wedding or a marriage. So what you're attracting into your life right now is a beautiful relationship that is celebration worthy, commitment worthy. You know your own worth. You're standing in your power. What we see going on around you is that people want to approach you. We have this Gemini energy. Somebody has a lot to say to you. Somebody's going to chase you to talk to you. This is, I love this energy. It's almost a comedic or comedy type relationship energy because it's somebody who sort of rushes in to tell you this is how they feel you know it's very sweet it's very cute but it's very blunt i call it kind of the runs with scissors card that somebody comes in and it's like their effort to sweep you off your feet is a little bit awkward but none of it less very honest very very heartfelt energy the way that the world is viewing you right now in the love department is whoa somebody has their eyes on you this is an intense soulmate energy. Intense. Very much about making choices. This is Gemini energy. You may be dealing with the Gemini, which is your seventh house of long-term committed relationships on the astrological wheel. That's a soulmate card. Lots of passion. Look at these two people looking into one another's eyes. That's what you're attracting into your life right now. In your heart space, you are really ready for dramatic change. You want to have not evolution, but you want a revolution in love, and that is what you're bringing in. How other people see the situation with you. I feel as though there have been people around you who have made an attempt to come forward, and they've botched it. So what we see here is that you're really not in the energy of putting up with any nonsense. You just are not having it. For many of you, you've had a recent breakup. For others of you, you're really, you're, you have such clarity. The Tower card is when you really have that moment of truth, when you know what you will settle for, and when you are unwilling to build anything on a faulty foundation. And in the past, you've, you've been hopeful, you've done that, and that energy is gone. The tower has come down, and again, you're standing in this beautiful energy, and you're attracting your soulmate. What's hidden here is that you've been a bit, and I think this is very related to the world at large, you know, it looks as though you've been a bit bored, you're a little bit, um, you know, you're ready for love. You're ready for it to come in. You're primed, ready. You're, you're in the right spiritual space for this. Spirit is recommending that you say, honey, I'm home. This is the recommendation that says when you find your true love, move forward fearlessly and absolutely. Your outcome card for your new reading is, aw. Sagittarius, that's Gemini energy again. You're worried about something, so we're going to take a look and see. Okay, because I don't see any reason for you to worry. 
I see that you don't feel as though you know who your person is yet. And there's a feeling of exhaustion. You know, when you get the Nine of Swords card, that means that you may be having difficulty sleeping. You know, you might have thoughts and feelings about people from the past. But that's going away because you're standing in your power. Let's see, the Seven of Wands energy. Here you are with this strong Leo energy, feeling good about yourself, probably looking better than you've ever looked. And I feel this is very health related, that you're very much taking care of yourself. You're in this mode of, you know, I think I'll just hang out here and whoever's going to approach me will approach me because Sagittarius, it does not look like you are in the mood to chase anyone. And I don't think you will. The Eight of Cups tells me that you have been dissatisfied in a past relationship recently that caused stress, anxiety. There were, it looks like there was, you know, a fair degree of arguing in that context of that relationship, but you've walked away. Beautiful energy, very, very beautiful. Ace of Wands, you are really ready for that new beginning, a new passionate beginning, and that's what's coming into your life right now. You will be duly rewarded for the choices that you've made because you've been true to yourself. The Four of Wands, the Moon card. For some of you, you don't know how you feel about the institution of marriage. The Moon card is Pisces energy. It really speaks to the fact that you feel like, you know, you don't want to do any smoky trails. There will be no smoky trails on your by you blazing your path into a relationship and only accepting a relationship that is very clear-cut and going in the right direction. The Moon card says that you may have some fear about this, but your intuition kicks in. The beautiful Cancerian High Priestess energy means that you have the wisdom and you're very grounded. You're very powerful right now. It looks like for most of you, you feel very secure financially and you are manifesting this energy of the Four of Wands. It looks as though, again, there's a very strong Gemini interest or bond here. I feel that a Gemini may come forward uh, to have a relationship with you, but the signs don't really matter. It's an energy. Gemini tends to be blunt and outspoken and easy to get along with, and that's what I see is that you want someone who's joyful. You want someone who's passionate. You want somebody who's really going to see life through rose-colored glasses in a positive but grounded way. You want somebody who's upbeat, happy-go-lucky, like yourself, who needs, you know, who needs the other stuff. So what we have here is we have the Knight of Swords, a Page of Cups making an offer. Somebody is rushing in to make you an offer. They want to have a victory with you. That is Leo energy, passion. Look at this top tier of cards. Somebody coming in, a relationship starting. Somebody is manifesting you. You're manifesting them. Look at their, they're walking straight towards you. Incredible. I have goose pimples right now. That is a powerhouse of energy for you, Sag. What do we see for the, the lovers? We see the chariot. That person is rushing in. The lover's card is also all about making a choice, and your person wants you to make a choice. They want you to commit. They want you to, and they are going to be there for you. They are very committed to success in this relationship. The four of coins are going to hold on to you. They may be a little bit jealous. <laughs> uh, they're sort of like, I love my Sag. But this is a kind of jealousy that says that if you're at a party with them, they would watch you and always sort of have their eye on you, but not in this intense way. It just would be, where is my Sag? I always scanning the room. Do, 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 That's my scanning the room hand motion, just if you didn't know. The Eight of Swords, they would hold themselves back from being anything but prim and proper with you. We see that your person with you, Sag, is a very successful single person who brings everything to the table. They do want, they're a little bit covetous of you, but they will certainly be very, very good to you, very grounded, beautiful energy for you. We have, let's see, the Five of Wands reversed. This is a person who does not like strife. I like it. 
Leo energy for you again. Your person is willing to fight for you, but they are not willing in any way to put up with multiple people in any situation, and nor are you. So when you make this commitment to spend time together, you will hit the ground running. The Tower card says that everything that you've learned in your life is coming in to help you right now. The King of Swords energy is Aquarius. You could be attracting somebody who's very, uh, very, very straightforward, very honest, very blunt. But the King of Swords oftentimes I find professionally is the energy of the engineer, the lawyer, the surgeon who has to use strategy to deal with what needs to be cut, you know, in life, and yet very nurturing underneath. The, the King of Swords actually has a nurturing heart, sort of, but very much like a Dr. Doolittle energy in that, you know, they're very strategic. They don't just waste their time, period. So your person is someone who is professionally probably very successful, um, but emotionally available privately and very warm indeed. We Look at this. This person wants marriage. You have two marriage cards here. You have a passionate beginning. And you have someone coming in that really sees you as their person that they want to have on their arm, that they want to take out and introduce their friends to. So it's Sag, it's your cup of tea, as I would say. It looks exactly like what I would imagine that most of you would want. The Five of Swords energy, what on earth is that doing here? Well, there you go, Sag. You cut that energy right out of your life. That Justice card came down. For some of you, this meant, might have meant separating from someone who was very difficult to be with. The Two of Cups says that you are holding out for your soulmate. You have clarity, you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. All right. Oh, nice. I'm so excited for you. Okay. So the Four of Cups energy, what do we have here for the Four of Cups? Okay. Well, you're bored. You're waiting around. You know, you want your happily ever after, and you're going to get it from everything that I can see. That is the good, that's the joyful Pisces energy of I just don't want to look anymore. I want to take my leap of faith with the Fool card for the new beginning. And you're really there. Look at that Two of Wands. You will have two suitors that really will come at you in a way that you really appreciate both of them. You know, you're going to be at a crossroads. You will have to make a decision between two people. And it looks as though it could be air sign and another fire sign. Why is a chariot card here? Six of pentacles. Somebody comes in, they want to give you the world. They want to invest in the relationship. They want to be generous with you. They're coming in very quickly. And look at that. Worry no more, Sagittarius. The ten of coins, yet again, you have three marriage cards in this reading. It really speaks to the fact that commitment will be yours. We have the Ten of Pentacles energy that is a legacy relationship in which there are children and families and careers and good educations and beautiful homes and a dog. The dog represents loyalty, intense loyalty, Sag. I am so excited for your Sagittarius. Please leave comments below and let me know what's going on. How did that resonate with you? Thank you so much. Bye-bye.